Your self-worth is literally the one thing that changes everything. The one thing that changes everything. And so often we think whether it's in relationships that we need to, you know, do all the work to understand every detail of them to make them stronger. And that's true. That stuff really, really helps to understand at a granular level. How do you become a great friend or a great partner in a relationship? And all of that work's important, but underneath it all, if you don't also do the work of self-worth of believing you are worthy of great friendships, of great relationships, then you will always sabotage them or you will always uh, uh, do something to either never go for them, to never ask the person, you know, do you want to be friends and invest in that friendship as an adult? Um, or you'll never tell the person you want to be more than friends in the relationship or you somehow will hold back from showing up as the person you know you can be in that relationship if underneath it all you don't believe you're worthy of a really, really great relationship. We'll sabotage it, we'll either never go for it, um, or in some other way, we'll make sure it cools down to the level of our self-worth. Similarly in business, in your, your, your career, your ambitions, uh, the business you're launching out there into the world. So often we think, oh, I just don't have enough experience yet, or I don't have, you know, the right skill set yet, or, or the right connections, or the right mentor, all those kind of things. At the end of the day, in, when deep down inside you believe you're worthy of launching the business, of taking that business to new heights, of being an incredible leader, an incredible CEO, incredible boss, right? It's only by believing you're worthy of it that you'll literally go to that level. This is the one thing that literally changes everything. And so it is important to invest in building a skill set and building attributes and strengths and experiences and all of that. But the most important thing is to build strong self-worth underneath all of it so that you have the foundation of your own identity. So there's a classic example that has been used for a zillion years in, in personal development, and it correlates your identity to the example of a thermostat, right? So you probably have heard this example, but it's important when you, when you look at it through the lens of self-worth. So you may have heard a number of thought leaders talk about how we all have our own internal thermostat, right? That's like an automatic one. When you imagine walking into a room, maybe in your house or your office right now, maybe you have an automatic thermostat on the wall. And if you have it set at 75 degrees and if all of a sudden things heat up in that room, what happens? That thermostat kicks in, lowers the temperature back down, right? Uh, to 75. Meanwhile, if things just get freezing cold in that room, it's gonna kick in and raise the temperature back up to 75. And so the classic example that so many thought leaders have shared is really applicable when it comes to self-worth and your identity. Because let's say you set your self-worth, you believe you're worthy, you believe you're worth 75. Okay, that's the level of your self-worth, that's your identity right now, deep internal identity. Well, then when things go really, really right in your business or your relationships or, you know, your friendships or your goals and dreams, and all of a sudden it's on fire, it's a 90, but underneath it, you only believe you're worthy of 75, your thermostat kicks in, it sabotages the relationship, it doesn't call that person back, it doesn't show up and put your ideas out into the world, you uh, work less hard, procrastination, feeling stuck, and before you know it, that 95 is back down to a 75. Similarly, if things are just going awful and you're just, I mean, they're really bad, they're down there to 50, when you believe you're a 75, You'll figure out, okay, what moves do I need to make? What efforts do I need to put in to get back up to that 75? Here's the thing, and I talk about this. I go deep in the master class inside of Worthy on how do you take that number, that, that, that 75, and, and raise it. How do you raise your internal level of identity and self-worth? Because you will not soar to the level of your goals and dreams. You will stay stuck at the level of your self-worth. It is the one thing that truly transforms everything in your life. And you know, the book, um, which you can pre-order now, you get lots of bonuses uh, with it. There's over 20 tools in this book, which is why I wrote it. Because in my life, there are so many things where I didn't realize, why did I stay stuck? Why did I sabotage that thing? Why didn't I go to the next level? 
like when I know in my soul I can, <laughs> right? It's because when we don't believe we're worthy of it, woo, every day, all day, we will sabotage it. We will stay stuck. We won't go for it because we have our level of identity right there at a 75. You know what I mean? And so if you can relate to this, the very first step is just become aware. Today, all I want you to do, in addition to ordering worthy, because we're gonna go through a lot of trainings together on how to do this as well, but I deep dive into it. Um, but the trainings are part of the bonus when you grab it, when you pre-order the book. But what I really want you to do right now too is just become aware of it. Just become aware and be like, hmm, what do I believe my own internal identity is around self-worth? And how does that manifest in my life? What have I sabotaged? And think about all the areas of your life. What areas have I stayed stuck in and I don't know why? Like maybe you know you have a book inside of you or an idea or a, and you don't know why you haven't written it. Or you have this big idea you wanna share in that you know team meeting tomorrow. And every time there's an opportunity, you don't share it. Because we will not rise to the level of our goals and dreams. We will stay stuck at the level of our self-worth. So for now, just start to think about the areas of your life and how this impacts it. I love you, I believe in you. And by the way, the best thing is we can raise that number. I know it because I've done it. We can raise that number, okay? That is the most exciting part. I hope you have an amazing blessed day. I love you, I see you, I am you. <laughs> I believe in you and uh, you are worthy.